All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. Welcome back. We have but one more mission to participate in. Or at least one more on the record. Let us go see what Mr. Hosea needs. Is that Lenny? Hey. Oh, Charles. Good to see you. Couldn't Don't see know you how there, we buddy. got anything done before you joined us. Huh. I like to keep busy. Anyway, keep it up. Yep. Good morning. Sorry, sir. Everyone behaving themselves around here? Hardly. Huh. All right, Susan. Oh, look, he's a little Jack. Long time, boy. Come on, boy. What the fuck? I'm not trying to ride in camp. I'm trying to go out of camp. Yeah. There we go. Dead horse is still there. Kind of find it a little bit excruciating. We're about to get ambushed. Maybe not. Never mind. Let's see what them wraith weights are up to. Doing. Hey fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. All right, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Don't need to tell me twice. We're good. Hello, sir. Thank you for the door. Uh, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. <laughs> Just stop messing around. What the? F okay. Arthur. Are we going there? Sit. Down. Arthur, sit down. Oh my God. Sometime today would be nice, Morgan. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was right, let's move. There. 
took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. That smug fucker. Okay. Yeah, it's a piece so of what's shit. What she got us doing at the grave? <coughs> she wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the old bitch. Jesus Christ. Those ain't <laughs> really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still, trying to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. Just robbed their horses, too. That was you. Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just all right. leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Yep. Pass and roads. That's right. Here you go. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and pack. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> we're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, 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 have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal. In, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business, eh? Uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay, okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. 
Ah, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. All right, we're finally in. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy because if some folks got all the money they can build quite the fanciest places <coughs> how you getting on good nearly got these things ready okay guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down out of houses. Oh, burn quietly. All right. Quiet. Let's put him to the There's torch. on the left. already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? A good hit. Just let me deal with our friend here. You're good. Go ahead. Just don't shoot it. There we go. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. All right, let's burn it up. That should do it. tobacco I hate tobacco I used to clean uh, offices that's good and uh, it was at this place where a lot of people had chewing tobacco and they just spit it everywhere it's disgusting honestly almost made me gag a few times because it also smells like absolute garbage This wasn't just one dude, it was a bunch of people who did it. Here. 
good. All we gotta do is get across the road. And walk straight through. John, you gotta put him down. Good, good. Or you can this a quick dousing as well. How we looking? Make sure you go, Arthur. Line her up. Woo! Would you look at that? <laughs> All <laughs> right. Go yourselves a fat cigar. You pay for that. Uh oh. I got the red head. You ain't leaving here. Well, hold this one up. You get those fears properly going. Somebody shut up. You got some horses from the stables. Come on. Not right now. We got company. Look out. Uh oh. Back me. behind us. There we go. You great waste runner this time! Look out! Just one! There. Ourselves a regular dust up. Let's go. This is a goddamn mess. Come on. Where are we going? I'm gonna leave you cold. Hey, there it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded that cash yet. They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them. They didn't tell me nothing. All right, come on. We'll take those horses. Cut them both free. Oh boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Great. Let's go. Get on up, Sean. Come on. Good man. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. You right. Follow me. I 
think we lost them. That yeah, we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Uh, yeah. Sure. God's name does Micah want? Uh, temporary story. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Micah needs to speak with you. Blessed are the peacemakers. Okay. Yeah, we ain't we ain't gonna do that right now. Mike Micah just rubbed me the wrong way. I hate him so much. Where is? Here's the food. Hey, Tilly. Tilly. Aren't you cold dressed in just that? Hang in there. We're on the up. I know. I'm fine. I have? I've eaten stew recently? All right. Hey, lots of work to do around here. <laughs> Someone should get on that. Okay. I need to get some sleep. All right. We're going to put Arthur to bed because he technically has not slept in like two to three days straight uh I guess no Sounds good. Who is that? Because it looks like it says M. Bill. It's Bill. You know what? Let's go help Bill out. Mr. Williamson. What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? A bank stage, and without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's going to be coming right through, and the bank records the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. Oh, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who are you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case... Tilly, you free? We got some work. All right, well, let's get on. What kind of work? Stagecoach. Let's do it. Shit. All right, Till. Okay, follow me. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. Sounds uh, good. You're certain this information sound, Bill? After that mess with the Cornwall stage, I want to make sure we're not riding in another army of guards. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details. Just 
do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I'd feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, you stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. That kicked you out of the army. <laughs> I did not. What'd they do then? I differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. Really? Never had, running with them foreman boys all them years. She could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. <laughs> all right, just take it easy, you two. She gonna kill you, Get man. Get your minds on what matters, so we do this right. She will Get kill you. Seen the way Sadie looks at Pearson, she'll do the same. Hey. Hey. Right through here. He said just north of it, right? So up on that hill. And silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? Oh, God. Come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half man. Damn. Half man? Half man? What does that even mean? Will you two stop arguing? He started it. Here's a goddamn stage. Doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you. Follow me. What's the plan? There's been a change of plan. Oh, God damn it, Bill. Yeah. Son of a bitch. All right, Williamson. We'll do it your way. Coach. I know. God. Oh no. Oh God. How'd I get knocked off? They could shoot a horse, but I don't want to do that. That's not right. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Before it reaches town or gets hit by a goddamn train. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, oh shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god. was quite eventful, wasn't it, boy? I believe so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, we're going to probably see what Mike is up to, but I uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.